after the Real Madrid against Manchester City match was one of the biggest matches and toughest matches that the Real Madrid fans had to watch for this current season and in that match there were very good moments Real Madrid came out with a victory and for today's video we're going to be grading each of those Real Madrid players that featured in the match we're going to be grading their performances how good were they it's from A to F and there's actually a bonus one which is S S is when you are above A Lunen was just one of the best goalkeepers in the world on that day and he was on top of his game he was stopping shots from the Bruyne of Ireland and I think he solidified himself as one of the best goalkeepers and I think next season is going to be a serious battle between him and Cordoba but Lunen for his performance is why I say S because this guy was just insane yesterday one of his best performances S for Lunen Danny Carvalho so with Danny Carvalho's performance this guy was defending for his life my respect for Carvalho has shot even higher than it was before and I already had massive respect for him and his performances how good he is but yesterday he played for the badge he played like somebody that really cared that Real Madrid win this match he rested all and at his grand age of 32 and I'm going to give Carvalho for this performance a A because he had to deal with Grealish and Doku for that entire match he did not make the full 120 minutes but further on I think he had one of the most difficult jobs in the team and he performed well Antonio Rudiger this man needs no introduction this guy was a monster for both legs and I think he's one of the best if not I know no 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 I think he is the best center back in the world currently he's above Militao and Alaba at the moment this guy he's just insane and you know what I love about him he takes the responsibility he doesn't they don't ask him to do it he does it he went up to go and take the penalty the winning penalty and he tucked it away massive press on him and overall for Rudiger I'm giving him straight up a S straight up S one of the most surprising performances actually I'm not too surprised but many of the Real Madrid fans are super surprised with his performance Nacho what a performance I mean that guy when Rudiger wasn't holding Holland he was you know he had bad performances in the earlier parts of the season he has redeemed himself I'm giving Nacho a A plus and I know I gave most of the backline A pluses but in this match I want you to remember this match was all about defending we scored one goal the rest of the match was just defense for Alan Mendy okay with him I'm not going to give him an A because first of all he did play well but there were certain mistakes he made and certain decisions that he made that I thought he shouldn't have done there was a time he almost put Real Madrid in a risky situation against City for Mendy he did have a great performance don't get me wrong it's just that few mistakes that will put his rating a bit down and I'm going to give him a B Tony Cruz so Tony Cruz veteran you know he was actually very very good he was slick with his passing slick with his movements they tried to press him and he was so press resistant it's insane the guy showed his passion truly he even celebrated at the end of the match with Rudiger which is odd for Cruz Cruz never shows that side of him if he was excited then you know it is a big victory so with Cruz, I'm going to give him a plus. Federico Valverde, I mean man of the match. Do I even have to explain what he did in that match? This guy was taking up responsibility in attack, taking up responsibility in the midfield defense, and he was a workhorse. He was all around the pitch. We really got a gem. I want you guys to think about it. The Real Madrid got a gem. How they locked down Federico Valverde needs to be studied. Serious. Pedro Valverde, I'm going to give him a S. Eduardo Camavinga, so he was put into the position in which two men were supposed to play. Camavinga actually played extremely well. Defensively was helping out a lot in the game. His passing was also good. He tried to link up in attack. It just wasn't working out. And to be fair, there was there was nothing in attack if we're being serious. And for Camavinga's performance. I'm going to give him a B plus. The man, the myth, the legend, Jude Bellingham. You know, in the past two grading videos, I gave him terrible ratings. However, I know he didn't score, I know he didn't assist, but his contributions in the game was exceptional. You know, people don't look at him anymore for his off the ball movements, his 
work off the ball, but he was exceptional off the ball. At the fact, he was included in the ball up to the Rodrigo goal, in which he was so slick. So I'm going to give Bellingham a better rating than in his Mallorca match. I'm giving Bellingham a B. Rodrigo Goes. The big Rodrigo Goes, I mean, this guy's on a roll. He's scoring almost every single game. That was a great performance. He scored early. Yeah, he's just a nightmare when it comes to him facing Man City. He loves to score against them. One thing I noticed about him, he's defending, and I will actually mention this with Vinny Jr. as well. Rodrigo's defending was underrated. He dragged back so many times, he was acting like a Daza defender. And the low block in that match was just, it was so good. With Rodrigo, I'm going to give him a A. Vinicius Jr., so, you know, he got an assist, great performance from him. His work in the defense, you know, I know he's an attacker, you know, he couldn't get past Walker a lot of times, which was disappointing, but, I mean, it's Kyle Walker, are we really gonna complain? Vinny's performance was very, very good. I thought defensively, he showed that he cared about the team because Mbappe wouldn't do that. And I know why am I comparing him and Mbappe? There are many players that wouldn't track back to go and defend, such as the Mbappes, the Messis, the Suarez, the Neymars. They don't track back to defend. Vinny does. So just for that, I'm going to give Vinny a B+. Carlo Ancelotti was very reluctant with his substitutions. He put Modric on. Yes, Modric did miss a penalty. But I think giving him a bad rating would honestly be too harsh on him. He did some good work when he came up. He almost created some goals, surprisingly. Modric brought life into the game in my opinion. He missed a penalty. So I'm going to give him a C-. minus. With Brian Diaz. So, you know what? With Brian, I feel like he wasn't on the physical level for Man City. They were brushing him off the ball numerous times. He was trying to do some work defensively. Brian had the fresher legs, but to be honest, he wasn't really contributing that much. But I'm a big fan of Brian. And I will give him, for this game, a D. Lord Vasquez, Lucas Vasquez, the GOAT. S. Straight up. S. Are you gonna argue with it? The coldest penalty I've ever seen when he came on. This guy was defending. Lucas Vasquez, S. The last one is Adam Militao. And Militao, when he came on, he actually made the defense much better. He was put on in extra time. You know what I thought before they put him on? I thought maybe you shouldn't play him. He's not ready for it because he's not at the proper fitness levels. But honestly, when he got put on to replace Carval, the guy was exceptional. And I think he needs to start the next match. For Militao's small cameo appearance, I'm going to give him a B. And that is it for the grading. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? But if you enjoyed, smash like, subscribe. Peace.